Okay, so let's go ahead and connect all of our screens with our database. So the login screen, I am going to leave as is, but you can change this if you would prefer for users to sign up or um, log in with their username. And for the sign up page, I want to collect a little bit more information. So I'm going to, um, first of all, I'm going to take this card and bring it all the way down so that it fits the form. Um, and then for this button, I'm just going to put it up here. And then for the form, I'm going to add the username field, profile picture field, social media handle, and social media URL. And then when they click the submit button, I want it to sign the user up and then take them to the screen. So I am just going to link this icon real quick. So at on press, it links to the account page. And then this profile picture, I am going to um, link it to the logged in user's profile picture. For this form, it's going to be a collection of posts and you can leave everything as is here. And then the submit button is going to create a post and it's going to link to the profile page. And you can have this um, push to where it makes you go to the profile page or you can just select it to none. And then I'm going to um, come back over to this custom list and customize it a little bit more. First of all, I'm going to add a button and I'm going to get rid of that icon. And I want this to be a delete button, which means when a user hits it, it's going to delete the URL from the public profile page. And I'm just gonna jump back over to the actual component real quick and make it a list of posts and the filter will be the logged in users post. And then I'm gonna sort this from created date newest to oldest and I'm going to link it to the profile page. Okay, now I'm gonna jump back into my button and the press action is going to be database delete record and we are going to delete the current post and click done. I also want to add a few more components to this custom list. I want to add a, um, a toggle button that allows people to turn on the visibility. So when it's checked, it's going to be visible. And when it's unchecked, it's not going to be visible on the public facing page. And then I'm going to add one more component, a icon, and I'm going to change it to an eye. And this is going to allow the user to preview their profile page so they can see um, for themselves whether or not, you know, the visibility worked or didn't. Okay. And then I'm just also going to change this title to link to my post title. And then the subtitle is going to link to the post URL. And I'm going to link up this logout icon so that um, when people log out, they are directed to the login page. So this page is all set up and now we're going to um, finalize our profile page. Okay, so our buttons. Um, our buttons are a list of posts and the filter is going to be current post user post. And we are going to add one more filter, which says um, only show it if the visibility is true. So in other words, if that toggle box is checked, then it will show, otherwise it won't. And I'm gonna sort them from created date from newest to oldest and click into the components, edit the button. I want this button text to be the current post URL title. And on action, I want to link to a website, which would be the current post URL and click done. I'm going to link this text to um, the profile pages users social media handle. And when they click on it, I want to link to the social media URL. I'm going to connect this image to our current post users profile picture. And then with this app bar, I don't want this icon to show up if um, a non-logged in user is on this page. So I'm going to just click on this app bar and I'm going to go in here 
and change the visibility to sometimes visible. And I'm just going to say that if the current post user's uh, social media handle is equal to the logged in user's social media handle. Um, you can play around with that and make it a little bit more intuitive. Um, it's up to you. And then I'm going to change this title and link it to the logged in user's social media handle. Awesome. So now let's go over and set up our account page. So I want this to be a screen where users can come and update their social handle or the profile picture, etc. cetera. Um, so I'm just gonna go in here and add more um, fields and, up and change the data collection to be users. And when they fill out this form, it's going to update the user information. And I'm going to drag this card down. So now we have our app set up and I am going to show you what it looks like on uh, the user side. So once you're comfortable, you can go over here and press um, the publish button. If you have a paid Adalo account, you can customize your domain. Otherwise you have um, a predetermined one. So um, this will be your app URL. So in the next part, we'll go through the user journey.